What your friend does? She brings it in every 3,000 miles. Oh, she takes care of her car like she takes care of herself. Oh. <laughs> you should take care of your car like she takes care of herself. <laughs> Why do I have the terrible feeling he's going to have my body recalled? Embarrassing. <laughs> they always make that kind of fuss over me. Oh, it's better than sitting in the back of the shop on a greasy 10-gallon drum. That's where they put me when I'm not with you. It's not so great up here, either. I mean, do you ever notice how they always aim you right at the new cars? Yeah. <laughs> I think they do it just to tease you. Oh, Rhoda, it's still here. I love this little beauty. Yeah, it really is gorgeous, man. Look, look how it stares at you. Those big, soulful headlights. <laughs> you know, you can almost hear it saying, I love you, take me home. Uh, I want to, I want to, but I can't. Too much, huh? Oh, it has to be. Ah, Mary, you mean you haven't even looked? No. Oh, look at the price. If I can't have it, why look? If I felt that way, I'd never go to a Paul Newman movie. <laughs> Well, at least get behind the wheel, man, huh? Okay, I will. Yeah, mm. Oh, Rhoda. <laughs> I gotta say, the two of you look terrific together. Well, I feel a little ridiculous. I mean, what do I do now that I'm in back of the wheel? I don't know. Make engine noises. Vroom, <laughs> <laughs> vroom. <laughs> Out for that school crossing. Uh, no, I was just, uh, just looking, really. Uh, my car is being serviced, and I was just whiling away the time. Fine. Uh, if you need me, I'll be over there. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, car salesmen really are pushy, aren't they? Well, your car's ready, Miss Richards. Oh, thank Here's you. Here's your bill. You can pay the cashier on the way out. Right. Uh, listen, Miss Richards, uh, some of the boys who worked on the car, you know, I, they heard me talk about you all week, and they, well, they want to meet you. Bob and Charlie. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Come on out here. Come on. Just don't touch anything. <laughs> Miss Richards, Bob. How do you do? Uh, let me wipe my hand. <laughs> You're incredible. 60,000 miles and you can eat off your carburetor. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Miss Richards, Charlie. Hi. Oh, you don't know, lady. You just don't know. <laughs> uh, nice to see you fellas again. I had the 65 fork and you've been working on it for three weeks. Uh, what color? Sort of green over rust. Oh, that car needs a lot of work. Yeah, and that candy bar underneath the front seat isn't in such good shape either. <laughs> well, I think most people think of their cars as transportation. I think of mine as a big purse on wheels. <laughs> yeah, Rona, come on in. You're in it, Mayor. You revived African violet. Oh! Luda, you brought it back to life. Yeah, consider myself the Catherine Coleman of African violence. <laughs> I had completely given up on this. You know, you're really incredible. I know. It's this thing I have. Rhoda Morgenstern, the incredible plant lady. <laughs> hey, what did I do wrong? Mary, a plant knows what... A plant knows <laughs> when it's being taken for granted. Maybe if you shared your feelings with it, talk to it more. Uh-huh. Well, it, it certainly does look like a good little listener. <laughs> I'll try it. What are you doing, kid? Oh, I'm just trying to figure out whether or not I can afford that new car, and I... Well, I found out I just barely can. Now I need somebody to talk me out of it. Rhoda, talk me out of it. Sure. You can't buy that car. Why? Because, one, your car is in perfect shape. Two, what do you care if people see you driving a slightly older car? Three, a convertible in Minneapolis in winter is ridiculous. You're absolutely right. Not necessarily. <laughs> Why? Because one, your old heap can't last much longer. Two, you cannot be seen driving that old clunker. Three, a convertible in Minneapolis in summer is wonderful. That's absolutely amazing how you can argue both sides of the issue with such conviction. Yeah, you should hear me on Nixon. <laughs> What do you think, Mia? You're gonna buy the car, or you're not gonna buy the car? I think I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Good. What are you saving all that money for, anyway? Right. Wait. You want to give me the other side on that one? You're saving your money, so if you lose your job, you won't have to move back in with your parents and sleep in a room with storybook dolls and pennants on the walls at the age of 32. <laughs> so who needs a new car? Anyway, mine will probably last forever. Well, then you think you won't buy a new one? Yeah, I don't think I will. You sure? 
I'm sure. Then, Mary, there's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. Uh, not here. Come Why on, up in my place. Why? Because, well, I have a Boston Fern and a creeping Charlie. I don't want to leave them alone together. <laughs> Oh, Rhoda! Welcome to Morgan Stern's home for wayward plants. <laughs> this is unbelievable! I know. Oh, Rhoda, they're just beautiful! You like it? <laughs> oh, and look at these funny containers you're using as planters. Yeah. Hey, you know, Sunsa, you really are talented. Oh, thanks, kid. Gee, I hope it's not too warm in here for you. Yeah, it is kind of humid, isn't yeah. it? I know, but they like it that way. <laughs> they need the warmth, Mayor. You know, they're just like people. Little green people. As a matter of fact, I'm embarrassed to get dressed in front of this character. Stop that. See, Rhoda, you're not getting weird, are you? What? I mean, you know, like little old ladies with hundreds of cats. Oh, don't be silly. Though, last night, Mia, I'm, I'm not sure about this, but I think I experienced photosynthesis. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Now that I got you in a good mood, sit down. Okay. Oh, I'm a oh. Oh. Mia, uh, believe it or not, this is hard. What's hard? Asking for money. You borrow money from me all the time. Yeah, but that's just five, ten, you know, little stuff. This is something big. Big? Mary, it all started when I did that garden window down at Hempel's. Oh, yeah, I remember. I saw that. It was beautiful. Oh, thank you. Well, really? anyway, since then, a lot of people at the store, including Mrs. Hempel herself, whose taste is so good she doesn't even shop at her own store, <laughs> they, they ordered plants and planters and... I, well, just look for yourself. I can't keep up with it. You seem to be doing okay. Oh, Mary, but it's showdown time. Something's got to go. Me or the plants. But listen, can't you find some kind of a place for them? I did. An empty store. But then I got to thinking, Mary, as long as I got the store, why don't I make it into a plant boutique? You know, with a name like Rhoda's Dendron. No, <laughs> no Rhoda! I think that's a sensational idea. You do? I really do. Oh, Mary. Well, see, the thing is, I need rent money. And yeah. I need to stock more plants and... Rhoda, I will lend you the money. Oh, Mary, you, what a friend. You don't even know how much I need. Thanks. Well, uh, how much do you need? $995. $995? Yeah. How come not a thousand? Well, 995 sounds like so much less than a thousand. I'll get the five from somebody else. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. And listen, kid, I'm not even going to feel guilty about this loan because I know I can get it back to you in a hurry. Ah, oh, don't really. Worry. In three weeks. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, four weeks the outside. And this, I promise you. Five weeks maximum. <laughs> come on in, Georgette. It's open. Hi, oh, Mary. Hi, How are you? Oh, Rhoda. These plants are absolutely beautiful. Have you ever thought of putting your God-given talent to use? Georgia, you could you... make a bundle. You really should go into business for yourself. Georgia, it's okay. That was great. But Mary already loaned me the money. Yeah, she was supposed to be my <laughs> clinch. <laughs> in the plant shop with her if she can get a thousand dollars. Did you get it? Can you loan me five? Sure. I got it. We're <laughs> <laughs> in business, Georgia. <laughs> oh, good morning, Mayor. Hurry, what are you doing here so early? Oh, I had some stuff to catch up on. What about you? Oh. Well, I woke up early and I didn't feel like having any breakfast, so I thought I'd just come in and have a cup of hot coffee and a breakfast roll and just, you know, relax and read the paper. It's a nice thought. <sighs> what smells so good? My sweet roll, still warm, too. <laughs> Mary? Mr. Grant, you're here, too? Mary, I've got a 9 o'clock programming meeting upstairs, and I can't make head or tail out of these notes you took on Friday. Untangle them for me. Then get out the ratings book and figure out what our average rating was for the last three months. Did I have a bite of that? Mmm. <laughs> Boy. Is that good? Are you gonna 
No, go yeah. ahead, take it. I, I didn't want it anyway. No, I had a big breakfast. Go ahead, take it. You sure? Take it. Oh, thanks. You won't regret it. <laughs> Newsroom. Oh, hi, Rhoda. No, no, I didn't forget. I'm going over to the bank at noon. Uh, listen, uh, do you want it in cash or is my personal check okay? <laughs> you want a certified check. <laughs> okay. You're fine. You can pick it up any time during lunch. Right. Bye-bye. <laughs> It's all your fault, Mary. Fault? What, what's my fault? Ted, what are you doing wandering loose at this hour? <laughs> A man practically yanked me out of my bed this morning. Maybe to give my free rental car back. Your rental car? That's the one that Georgette lets me use. <laughs> Last night, she gave up her rental car job. Go to work for your friend, Rhoda. Uh-huh. Now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rhoda. No, I didn't forget. I just talked to you a few minutes ago. Oh, uh, how much more? Three hundred dollars? Well, that, let's see, that would, that would bring it to, uh, twelve hundred and ninety-five... No, 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 it, it's okay. No, really, it, it'll be fine. Okay, bye. Well, it's hard for me to say no. Say Mary. No. <laughs> Miss Richards, how yes. nice to meet you. Thank you, Miss Adams. Oh, please, call me Anne and have a seat. Oh, thank you, Anne. Do you mind if I call you Mary? Oh, no, no, oh, please good. go ahead. Yes. You know, Mary, I always had this image of bank officers as a bunch of cigar-smoking, stuffy, conservative old men. And I swore, if I ever became one, I'd try to dispel that image. Oh, well, <laughs> you certainly don't look like a stuffy old man to me. <laughs> of course, after dinner, I do like a good cigar, but... <laughs> <laughs> Now, Mary, uh, how can I help you? Yes, well, I have some money in a savings account here, and I would like to withdraw it. Uh, but the teller told me that I had mm -hmm. to see you. Well, that's right. You do have to see me. You see, Mary, the very nature of a time deposit is that you agreed to keep the money in there for a specified time. And um, the time isn't up yet. Is it, Mary? Oh, well, no, uh, Anne. I realize that. But you see, something came up, and, and I want the money now. Well, it's just not quite that simple, Mary. <laughs> you see, on this type of account, there are only two conditions where withdrawal is allowed before maturity date. Yes. It's poverty. Poverty? Poverty. No. Oh, well, that's too bad. <laughs> or uh, an emergency. Uh, how about an emergency situation? Is this an emergency situation? Yes. Good. What is the emergency? I don't want to tell you. Oh, no, you have to tell me, Mary. If you want the money, you have to tell me. Yes, but it's my money. No, not right now it isn't, Mary. It's our money. Yeah, now, just, just wait a minute, please. No. Look, I am standing here fighting to get my money out of your bank, and you are telling me that I can't. Mary, please just sit down and try to understand. No! Yeah, just sit down and try to understand. Oh, Mary. Mary! When you opened your rainy day time deposit account, you made a promise to us. That's just like you'd make a promise to a friend. Right, exactly. I promised my money to a friend. Yes, but we have your promise to us in writing. Please give me my money. <laughs> Mary, I mean, I'd like to. You know, I have one of these accounts, too, and even if I wanted to get my money out, I couldn't. Okay, I could, but, you know, everybody here likes me. I mean, they hardly know you. Mary, Mary, this is not my fault. Mary, please. Mary, please. Mary, don't turn away. Mary, Mary, please, Mary. Mary, I just thought of a way we can get you the money you need. You did? Yes, I did. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, Listen, you're welcome. I'm sorry things got a little crazy. Well, there you got a little upset, little. that's all. Do you think I can have the money now? Yes, I do. Oh, Just okay. as soon as you fill out this loan application. Oh. <laughs> loan? Don't be grumpy, Mary. Thanks, I have to too. Yeah! 
You want to grab a fast lunch, ma'am? Oh, thanks, Murray, but I can't. Rhoda borrowed my car to pick up some plants, and she's bringing it back at lunch. Oh, how's that business of hers going? Well, she says it's just booming. She's taken Georgette on full time now. Did she pay you back yet? Oh, uh, well, no. Oh, it's been about a month, hasn't it? Oh, no, it hasn't been a month. Oh, I thought it was about a month. No, it hasn't oh. been a month. Well, how long has it been? Six and a half weeks. Oh. Now look, Mayor, you know those small businesses, they're tricky. Uh, sometimes it just looks like you're making a profit. Oh, right. I'm sure it's something like that. Yeah. Well, wouldn't you think she'd at least have mentioned it? I mean, you know, that's a lot of money. Twelve hundred and ninety-five dollars. What are you so happy about, Ted? Rhoda just gave Georgette a big raise. Oh, really? She's so cute. You know what she wants to do? She wants to come and take me to lunch. You know what? I'm just going to let her. <laughs> Gee, what a surprise. <laughs> well, that's uh, what the woman's movement's all about, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, hi, George. Hi. hi. It's for me? It's for Mr. Graham. He's always so nice to me. Of course he's nice to you. That's because you go out with his anchor man. Doesn't mean you have to buy him anything. Come on. Surprise, surprise. The plant lady's here. Oh, hi, George. How are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah, I brought you this plant. Oh, no. Oh. Thank you. It's called a prayer plan. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, it's non-denominational. <laughs> I'll try not to swear in front of it. Now, where should we put it? How about on Mary's desk? Eh? Oh, no, it's especially for you. Oh. Uh, look, Georgette, I'm not too good with plants. Why? Well, you see, when I was a kid, I had a plant. <laughs> I love that plant. I don't even know why I got it. I just saw it, and I knew I had to have it. I spent a whole month's allowance on it. Then one day it died on me. Just died on me. Wilting leaves, dropping dead on me. I'm not going to go through that again. How about a box of candy? That'd be nice. Okay, I'll bring it by tomorrow. Hmm. Hello, Georgette. I'm uh, ready to have you take me to lunch. Give me the money in the car, because it'll look funny if they see you pay. <laughs> oh, hi, Georgette. Hi, Mary. Here's from Rhoda and me. If you want plant pellets, just whistle. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Uh, Will, Will. Uh, looks like you've been shopping. Oh, have I? You know, Mary, I always thought it was a big waste to spend a lot on clothes. But now that I'm in the money, uh, it's kind of fun, I gotta admit. Oh, yeah. is it? Uh-huh. You know what I did today? Fulfilled a lifelong dream. I walked into a chic dress shop, picked out my favorite dress in the place, and I bought it without even looking at the price. Wow. How, how much was it? $9.99. Which goes to show you how crummy my taste is. <laughs> Here's your car keys. Oh, thank you. I hate to tell you this, Mayor, but your car is running terrible. Well, that's funny. It was running fine yesterday. Maybe you shouldn't let me drive it. It probably thought it was mine. It started acting up. Oh. I wonder if I have time to run it into the shop and have them take a look at it. I would make the time if I were you, really. I mean, take it from an expert. When these old cars start to go, you have to sling a net under them to catch the parts. Uh, you know, this is really sort of typical, isn't it? I mean, if this had happened six and a half weeks ago, you know, I probably would have bought that new car. And now that I, I don't have the money... Yeah. Well, if you don't have the money, you don't have the money. Thanks, ma'am. How long do you think it'll take to find out what's wrong? Well, I've got the boys looking at it now. Somehow we all feel like we've let you down. Oh, no, no, please don't feel that way. Well, Come on, it's not your fault. I better take a look myself. 
Come on, you guys. Quit hanging around. Come on. Hey, look. Somebody took your car. Oh, yeah. It's the same model. It's just a different color. Yeah. Boy, what a great set of wheels. This one's a little more expensive. Because it's a deluxe. Yeah? How do you know? Well, if it costs more, it must be the deluxe. <laughs> Boy, do I love this car. But I hate yellow. Hate yellow? Oh, my Lord. Oh. What are you, a big oh. yellow fan? Mary, you know the money I owe you? Yeah. Well, I thought it would be sort of boring, dull, to give you back the money. So, knowing you wanted a new car, I took that money, added to it a little, you know, extra for interest, and put a down payment on this yellow car. Yes, Mary, yes. The car you love in the color you hate is yours. <laughs> what? Yeah, yours. <laughs> Get inside. It doesn't look so yellow from in there. <laughs> Still there. <laughs> well, get in, Mayor. Come on, Georgia. Let's all get in. We'll do a few laps around the showroom. Uh, do you really think it was pushy of me? It was, yeah. To go and get something so big without asking you first. It was pushy. That's one of the reasons I like doing it. No! No! You really hate yellow, huh? Well... Yellow. I should have remembered how indifferent you were to that canary I had. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Uh, the one great thing I do for someone in my life, and uh, I louse it up. Hey, will you stop carrying on? I think it's terrific what you did. I even got them to throw in an air conditioner and a tape deck. Mary, you have no idea the fantastic deal I got you on this car. I love yellow. Yellow's a lovely color, Mary. It's the color of the sun and wheat fields. Yeah. Ticonderoga pencils. <laughs> and daffodils and lemons. Oops, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Just so Rhoda could get me down there to see my new car. Terrific. What color was it? Sort of golden. Miss <laughs> Richards? Yes. Hi. Oh, hi. I, I brought your car. It's down in the parking lot. There's the keys. Oh, thank you very much. Gee, I can hardly wait to get off work. Okay. Well, uh, what are you, a secretary here? Oh, no, I'm an associate producer. Huh. Well, I guess I can't go out with you then, because I'm just a mechanic. Uh, hey, oh. kid. Come here. Hi. My son-in-law's a mechanic. Now, I just met you, so I don't want to get too hot with you. But if my daughter isn't too good for a mechanic, then she isn't too good for a mechanic. Well, but I don't argue about it. Yeah, but I, I didn't mean anything by it. I mean, how often do you see associate producers going out with mechanics? <laughs> a young man. Yeah. I couldn't help overhearing what you just said. Let me just point out to you that in this great land of ours, it doesn't matter what you are. That's who you are. <laughs> Blue collar, white collar. Collars of all colors can mingle together. From the lowest mechanic to the most exalted television anchor man, we're all on the same team. <laughs> that was very stirring, Ted. I almost felt like humming Battle Hymn of the Jerk. 